Yeah, this construction site here in the Northwest Valley is pretty much indicative of the explosive housing market we're seeing here in Southern Nevada. Let me take a step back and show you these mounds will eventually have a lot of homes in this Northwest Valley, and it's a seller's market with cash buyers battling out for a chance at their future home, but it may take longer for sellers to pocket that cash. The house means everything to us. Uh, my wife and I never planned to ever leave this house. John Zenner loves his Centennial Hills home that he and his wife have lived in for the past 22 years. But to enjoy a more active retirement, they decided to sell it. The right person for this house was very, very important. It took some time to find that person. The four bedroom and three and a half bath home was listed at about $730,000. Zenner says there were multiple bids and a potential buyer was found. Due to lending issues, that buyer fell through, and the search for a new one took a couple weeks longer. Of those 12 showings, although great interest was expressed, only one person made an offer, and that one person had cash. It's a trend that's been seen valley-wide. Data from the Las Vegas Realtors released Friday shows home prices continue to rise, but sales are starting to fall. The median price for a single-family home was $475,000 in April, up 3% from March. However, available inventory of homes for sale went up about 22% from March. Zenner's realtor David Lee with Painted Desert Realty says rising interest rates are playing a big part. I do believe once it gets to the 7%, 8%, that's when we're going to see the majority of a slowdown come. And we got another year, year and a half for that to happen. He says the trend of high prices and rising interest rates will slow down sales. You know, sellers sometimes try to ask too much for their houses. So that combination on top of interest rates going up, houses will sit a little bit longer and it'll give the buyers a little bit more opportunity to, uh, to get in. Zenner says he can't buy a comparable home. He's priced out. He's now committed to renting as he wants to enjoy a more carefree life. As for the cash he's getting. I personally plan to spend 90% of it just, just having fun with my wonderful wife. Now, while Mr. Zenner would like to rent, and luckily he has found a place to do exactly that for others, it's going to be a challenge. Realtor David Lee says it's scarce to find any sort of rental units, especially with the sky high monthly rents people are expected to pay at this point. Reporting in the Northwest, I'm Jeremy Chen.